You're watching the Inland Sports Splits. Now here's Pep. <laughs> The 30th annual All-Star Football Classic featured the top seniors from around the Inland Empire going up against the very best out of Orange County. You're watching the Inland Sports Show. Here's Pep. First quarter, Centennial quarterback Nate Ketteringham to Brendan Bixler on the TD strike. Bixler from Santiago. And the Rimpaw rivals give the IE an early 7-zip lead. Later in the first, now a 7-3 game. It's Chandler. Drakeslin to Riverside Poly teammate Akili Ross. Some shake and bake action down the sideline and in for the score. 14 3, the IE to the second. Drakeslin to Ross. The duo strikes again. Ross tips the pass but stays with it, hauls it in for the touchdown. The YKTD gives the Inland Empire a 21 10 lead. Still in the second, Ketteringham hands off to receiver Nate Metters. He played quarterback at San Gorgonio and knows how to toss the pigskin. He finds Centennial's Louis Mayella for the touchdown. The route is on for the IE. It's time for the Wolverine. Elsinore's Jacob Guglielmana finds the house. The IE All-Stars with a commanding 38-10 lead at the half. To the third quarter, Vista Del Lago's Terrell Lee gets the call. Great Odin's Raven. Check out this Vista Del Lago Raven squirting up the middle, bounces outside, and Lee goes in for the touchdown. Final seconds of the third, quarterback Chandler Drakeslin turns up on this run, 38 yards to the paint, and the Poly QB showing off the speed. Fast forward to the fourth, and the IE not done yet. Uh-uh, Ketteringham, the sidearm pass to Eisenhower's Armani Green, breaks loose from the pile, darts to the paint, and another Inland Empire touchdown. They played the fourth quarter with a running clock, and then this happened. Akili Ross, the pick six to the house. Ross was named the game's most valuable player as the IE goes on to win big. 69-16, the final score, routing Orange County in the 30th annual IE All-Star Classic. It was definitely a fun thing. Like it's, one, it's an All-Star game. You have fun. But it's definitely having Coach Logan teach us again. Like put, we put like a little simpler schemes, but it was definitely fun because it makes it easier on us. And it, it was definitely fun to play all these athletes because you get all the kids, like the best kids in the IE. So it was definitely a lot of fun. I had, I had a great time. All right, what does it mean for you tonight, the IE coming away with the big win? Um, you take some pride behind tonight's victory? Yeah, it's, it's just representing like our, like where we come from. So the IE represented. So. It's just amazing, you know. I mean, these these kids were, you know, fun to coach all week. They they just, you know, they did a great job. And, you know, obviously super athletes. And I think more just uh, working with, with Matt, Logan, and their staff was fun, you know, just learning a little bit of football, always trying to, you know, get better so we can take some things that they they do and try to try to improve on what we're doing too at Poly and and uh, so it was just a great experience the, for the whole weekend and the game tonight. I know you see them every day at practice, but tonight I feel like another amazing performance. Tell me what it's been like seeing him grow up during his three, four years of high school. Yeah, he's just a special, he's, you know, one of those kids that's just a special kid, you know, he just, he works hard, I think, you know, that's the credit to him is, you know, he is a great athlete, but he's a harder worker, you know, and so the stuff that he does is, is amazing, but with the work that he puts in, you know, you understand why he can do the things that he does, so it's just a credit to him, and, you know, I mean, he's just one of those special players, and I know he'll do well, and SC's going to have a great player coming their way.